So let me get this straight. Your name is Frank O'Connor, Mr. Frankie, the franchise development director of the Halo franchise at 343 Industries, correct, Mr. Frank O'Connor? Yeah, my name is Frank O'Connor. I, uh, I, uh, I do run the franchise development of uh, Halo and stuff, and I'm uh, the director of it, I guess. And you are the Frank O'Connor that went onto the internet to tell the Halo community that co-op and other functions were removed for Halo 5 so they can have massive scale environments, improved AI behavior, and uh, <laughs> and I said this right it was Halo 5, improved graphics and frame rate. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I, we, we tried our best with everything and trying to get all the functions in and everything. Damon here with IGN News. Halo 5 Guardians developer 343 Industries has responded to the outcry from fans in response to the news that its upcoming Xbox One exclusive shooter won't include split-screen support. In reply to a fan on Twitter, 343 franchise development director Frank O'Connor explained that adding in the feature simply isn't possible. He said, if we could do it, we would do it, but it is what they call non-trivial. Just last month, the studio explained why it ultimately had to sacrifice split-screen support, with studio head Josh Holmes going so far as to say the decision was one of the most difficult ones they've ever had to make. In order to add the feature, compromises would need to be made that would ultimately undermine the studio's ambitions to provide fans with an experience that has, quote, massive scale environments, improved AI behavior, increased visual and gameplay fidelity, and ultimately something that truly takes advantage of a new platform. Also, I found an interesting clip from 2013 where you and Kiki Wolf were basically on stage talking about how maybe you shouldn't listen to the fans and you need to listen to the uh, broader audience. No, no, I don't remember it uh, really at all. Um, and you have to strike a careful balance between having a conversation with that community and letting them behind the curtain and sharing with them and taking their opinions uh, and their feedback and their criticism seriously while understanding that they are a subset of, of that wider audience and they're not necessarily representative of it. They have Also, aren't you the same Frank O'Connor that defended uh, loot boxes? I mean, the rec packs saying they weren't uh, intrusive or anything like that? Oh, Bonnie, help me, help me, help me, tell me again. You know, Frank O'Connor, it's been about a decade that you guys had control over the Halo franchise and you've had about repeated failures over and over again. I'm talking about with Halo 4, Halo 5, Halo MCC, and now Halo Infinite. This has been a repeated offense with you guys saying that, oh, we'll listen to your guys' feedback and make sure that these bugs that are like disrupting the gameplay of your enjoyment of Halo gets fixed by the developers in a timely manner. So about three to four months later, you guys finally, finally got BTB to work. And uh, well, unfortunately, during that time, the bugs have run rampant throughout the whole game just absolutely destroying experiences to the point nobody wanted to go play BTB. The playlist was just absolute just dog shit. You know what? I have a clip for y'all that I really want to play during that time. And it took, mind you, it took 343 three, about three to four months to fix this and two patches just to fix BTB. So after BTB was actually finally fixed, after constant months and months telling 343 that this playlist is broken and we need an emergency patch to come fix this and stuff. And they finally got the message and they finally fixed it. whoop de doo Woo! We finally got that one taken care of. How about we get taken care of of the desync problem that's happening, 343? Hmm? Are we ever going to even address the desync of how many times we've told you guys that desync is a problem? It's still a problem. Actually, I got a clip for y'all that desync is still a problem within this game.
And mind you, this is the first match that I come back to Halo Infinite, and this is the way I get treated. With absolute, just disgusting desyncs, constant without, throughout the match and stuff. And mind you, I have really good fucking internet to the point I could download Halo Infinite in about an hour's worth wired. No problem at all. Not even a single hiccup. And I want to reiterate again, we've been hounding you repeatedly with these problems over and over again you guys just don't seem to care enough to fix these problems and it really does show to be honest especially this post that you did on the facebook page of i think the halo page or whatever it is i can't really tell by it but i know it's definitely from facebook that's for damn sure so frankie from himself i'll regret this i'm sure but Myself and folks working on appropriate and relevant parts of the game extended franchise read all valid criticism, even unconstructive criticism, complaints, critiques. If there's actionable, valid concerns in there, they're just not just I hate this. Then we'll read those too. I will say if you have a complaint about something that you actually want or think could be improved or might be addressed, it's certainly more efficient to not swaddle it in angry rhetoric, but it won't be ignored unless it's incoherent or doesn't have any points or issues in it. Frank O'Connor, I have about four videos on you guys, uh, basically giving you guys plenty of fucking feedback, but apparently you guys don't give a fuck enough to listen through all that feedback. I think the problem with you guys is that you hear what we're saying, but you're not processing it. It's like talking to a brick wall that refuses to budge. And that's how it feels like every time we have to talk to you, 343. And, you know, it's even more disheartening when I catch multiple videos of you, Kiki Wolf, and Bo Bonnie, uh, Bonnie Ross, yeah, I'm getting her name right, saying that you want to reach out to more of the broader audience instead of focusing on the Halo community that's trying to help you guys build a damn Halo game, okay? We're not the COD community. We're definitely sure as hell not the Sonic community. And for the love of God, we are not the FIVA community. These communities are very questionable at times, and I'm just going to say this right now. Thank God we're not, because holy crap, you've had over a decade... Over a decade of feedback of what we want in our Halo game. But did you guys listen at all? No. No. It's been a fucking decade with you guys. Trying to give you positive feedback. Trying to talk to you guys what we like and what we don't like. Especially with the microtransactions that's within these games that you guys have released. Since 5, Halo Wars 2, and fucking Halo Infinite right now. These microtransactions you have released are predatory by nature. It is... Halo 5 and Halo Wars 2 are paid loot boxes to win, basically. And I don't want to hear some idiot in the comment section basically saying, well, you can earn credits to go earn them and stuff, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know, where they trickle the fucking shit in versus if you drop, like, 20 bucks on, like, the rec packs or whatever the war packs are in Halo Wars 2. Yeah, you could get a lot for putting money in, but if you use credits and stuff to purchase the packs, yes, Guess what? Spoiler alert, you're not going to get real much out of it. Anyway, continuing on with the post from Mr. Uh, Frank O'Connor over here. I'm not a game designer or an engineer, so when I see complaints about balance, weapons, netcode, bugs, etc., they are aimed at me. My responsibility is to make sure if it's constructive, detailed, or clear, even if it's loaded with swears and frustrations, to make sure that things at least been noted and seen by the right people. And invariably, it has. Yeah, you mean those same developers that have been, you know, mocking the community and stuff basically when the Cyber so Showdown event was going on and stuff that uh, one of your developers basically said that uh, some eagle eyes have found out that the visor has been adjusted down to the point where it's not perfectly adjusted. We will get our rulers out and fix this out and have a patch out ready for season two. Or making stupid comments like saying uh, the UI can't handle having any more game modes. But then a month will know like I guess a week or two later that you guys finally decided to add Slayer and Fiesta to the playlist. When we know you guys are just bullshitting you're just trying to cut around the corner so you can maximize profits as much as you can. 
Continuing on with the article, I well, not the article, but the posting. It's frustrating for players when it seems like nobody's paying attention, let alone responding, but that's never true. We can't respond to everything and pushing off often competing suggestions or complaints without actually addressing or meaningfully updating the information is worse than silence. But silence does not and has never meant obliviousness and designers, artists, producers, etc. are seeing this stuff and usually working on some aspect of it and working hard. Yeah, so it was a really good idea to go absolutely silent on us for like the past three months and stuff never talk to us tell us what's going on what you guys have in the oven for us to talk about no 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 no. what we had to do is that we had to go hunt the information for ourselves because you guys were too i guess busy playing with each other saying oh my god we made the best game ever and it finished just absolutely great End results, cadence, timing, and delivery may never line up to the ideal but the community and audience is never being ignored all the folks working to make the game and universe are doing so with all their hearts, effort, and passion. And they are listening. Always. Personally, that's a load of crock and shit, Frank O'Connor. We've been asking for months for game modes. Some maps. Something something to get this game alive. Get it flowing. Get it moving and stuff. But what the hell have you guys been doing? Apparently, you guys, from what I've been reading and stuff, you guys have been firing people, hiring new people, which is just utterly disgusting in my opinion since, you know... You guys like to virtue signal that we like to keep our team uh, nice and healthy and stuff. We like to give them time to unstress and all. You guys are full of shit as usual. Just full of shit. You say you listen, but you don't. You don't. We still have the same problems that we've had for like the past almost six months. And what have you done, 343? Nothing. And when you have done something, it's usually doesn't even work at all. You like it, it feels like you half-assed this product again. Just like you did with Halo 5. Just what you did with Halo Wars 2. Oh, God, that was so buggy on launch. Oh, my God. And just like with 4. Like, we had so many problems with your guys' games that you guys just didn't care to fix these problems until, uh, you know, shit hit the ceiling. So continuing on with the posting. But yeah, if you want your points heard, just be clear, concise, and give examples. But by all means, be polite. I prefer that most people looking for feedback on something they want to improve would obviously. But if you're angry, hate something, and want to vent and don't go to be constructive, well, go for it. We all do that somewhere and about something. You've had a decade, a fucking decade, Frank. Of all of our constant feedback to you guys, saying that we don't want microtransactions, we don't want a replacement for Master Chief, please stop giving us fa f false advertisements of your guys' products. You know, hunt the truth? Yeah, remember that one, Frank? Yeah, I do. That was such a cool as asper. Well, how can I explain this? Such a cool example of piece of lore that could have been respected within the Halo universe. But no, what you guys did is that you just absolutely took that concept that was hunt the truth and you yeeted it into the trash can for the absolute trash heap we had with Halo Five. And trust me, I'm going to call dog shit what dog shit is. And trust me, the Halo 5's campaign was dog shit. So he finishes up his posting by just saying this. Just try not to attack each other for not agreeing with each other and try to be nice. Meanwhile, we'll all try to filter that and keep working to make things better. Always. Yeah. Hey, Frankie boy, I doubt that. Because you've had the last decade to improve Halo. But you didn't. You know what you, you 343 and Frank O'Connor, you know what you guys have done? You guys had just sat on the franchise trying to do these things that are going to cater to these trending things. Like, I know for a fact that you guys are going to do the Battle Royale and stuff, and you're just wasting your, uh, your talent, to be honest. Because when Halo 5 came out, six months later, we had infection, okay? And th this is the best you could do. You're going to give us a fucking Battle Royale. That... Probably nobody wants, but these crackhead Twitch uh, streamers and stuff are going to be streaming this and stuff. Y and you think that's really going to last? Especially with all the problems that happen with the desyncs and all that type of stuff. You really think that's going to be helping you guys? On a final note, before I do finish up this video and stuff, 
Frank O'Connor, if I was Phil Spencer right now, I would fire all of you. All of you would be out of a job. I would pull in certain infinity because those guys, I've looked at their track record and stuff. They do they do pretty decent above what you guys can do, to be honest. And I would pull ID software in and we would be actually working on a Halo game that would just blow the minds of the massive. We would be trending and stuff, getting stuff done. But, you know, I'm going to be completely honest with you. You're lucky I'm not Phil Spencer right now. Because I would fire you in a heartbeat. All in all, Frank, to be honest with you, I don't think you're fit for even, like, talking about Halo, to be honest. Because from what I looked up on the wiki page, too, you're the one that allowed Ro Bonnie Ross to come in and do all this woke diversity hiring instead of hiring people that know and that basically know how to code and make video games. No, because you guys are just more worried about hiring diversity and all this other disgusting stuff that I don't even want to mention from the Wikipedia. I'll leave a link in the description. Everybody's curious to go see that. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'm going to tell you right now, for all the new people that have came to the channel and stuff and subscribed and everything, just even liking and commenting really did help me. So... I appreciate every last one of you. Thank you very much. And uh, I do plan on to continuing to work on the Halo TV series. Unfortunately, uh, a certain company by the name of CBS keeps blocking it to the point where I can't even post it. So I'll be working my due diligence on that. And uh, the next video well, in this little essay series, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, really, it's really up to you guys. I'm going to be doing Bonnie Ross next. And oh boy, I'm going to have fun with Bonnie Ross. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you guys did like this content, please like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. I really want to talk to you guys again because it was fun on the previous video. And if you guys did enjoy this content too, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. No strings attached. I'd like 343. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.